there, friends. We are back in Phenotopia, episode 3. There's a different background today because I am in a hotel room. I am at the beach, and it's fun, and I love it, and I've already gone swimming, and I saw three jellyfish. It's, it's a little bit rough, but that aside, Phenotopia time. We've got a market down here. That's pretty nice. Ooh, why are there dirty foods for sure? Broken bridges, low demand, or high demand, and low supply. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I bring you stuff, you give me cash. Right? Right. Sounds reasonable, right? 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 Yeah. Alright. Yeah, okay. 15 my piece. Sure. Um, that's not my menu button. That is. If. Yes! Hey, there's a person here. <laughs> you found me. Hey, hey, you're not my big brother. Excuse me, uh, bandits. That's no fun. This. this is what I need for the boy in the Sunflower Road. I'm not going to buy it yet, though. I don't know what's down here. I'm going to go down here. Because there's always good stuff in holes in video games, right? get my hands on the next issue of Golem Hunter with the bridge out. If only I lived in day, uh... I know what I could be like to wait for a new book or a new whatever. Glad my son enjoys reading, but I wish he'd play outside more. I've heard that from my parents a lot. Not with the son part, of course, but... I am very much an indoor person. High quality silks, lots of silk used to come here through Samite Road, but now it's basically impossible to get any. I can bring you silk, can't I? Yep, if you right. That's pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Mayor makes it worse. Alright. Selling rocks. Who would want the rocks? I don't know. Animal rights activists against us because we eat baby sand dragons. Bandits are hired agents of Rodinia? Must be sad about the last war. Okay, I I don't care. Precious wells. Oof, that does not sound fun. Yes. I don't trust you. You seem greedy. You seem very greedy. I'm not running your errands for you. Who are you? Big house, okay. Oh hey, pink hair! Skilled potionist in a Thai square that has a potion for practically any situation. Used to be bald. Now I just need to do something about the color. No one will take me seriously with pink hair! You ain't gonna say anything to the girl with pink hair who just showed up in your door? And also, why does no one have an actual door? I can probably get you bacon. What happens if I get you bacon? I'm interested in what happens if I get this man bacon. <laughs> I'm gonna get some, and I'm gonna bring it to him, and I'm gonna see what he gives me. Cause this guy doesn't seem to be begging, I trust this guy. Act, wrong button. Give. Oh! Oh, I made my money back and then some. Oh? 
Come on, Pukey, eat up. Eat so you can get big and strong and beat up other Pukies. See, grass tasty. Yum, see, tasty. What are you looking at? Moving along. Nothing to see here. Wait a minute. No. <coughs> Is that you? Is it really you? Yep, it's me. Don't you remember me? No, who are you? I can't believe you forgot. It's Lisa. We used to play together all the time at the orphanage. We're sisters. Oh. Are you certain about that, Lisa? Didn't you hate animals? I do hate them. More than anything. Oh no, she's crying! Okay, yeah, I'll help you. Fortune failed spectacularly. And now she's an indentured servant. That's... that's awful. I feel bad for Lisa. I just want to go home! Get away from me! I miss you and everyone! What? You'll help me out? Thanks, but I don't think you understand how big my debt is. Well... Alright, if you insist. I don't want to be a burden. My boss lives in the mansion up ahead. Go over there and give him a piece of your mind. And I am thinking I'll do shorter episodes. Because I want to move towards shorter episodes. Mayor's house. Welcome to come in and observe his riches. He likes that. <laughs> of course he does. <laughs> Are they? They've trained ferocious sand dragons to aid their reign of terror. How do you train a sand dragon in this world? Oh hey, it's the kitchen. What's up there? Only guard this door. We're not even allowed to see his riches. Oh my. Albert has a crush on Lisa. Ooh. Forces weren't pulled toward. <laughs> yeah, that that'd probably be helpful. Drinks go here. Thinks that's all of it. Something to pay? No. That's lunch. Okay. For a king, I could understand that for dinner. For a mayor? For lunch? I want my tax dollars going elsewhere. That is not where tax dollars are supposed to go. Yep. Everything here is looking delicious. I mean safe. Everything looks safe. Yeah, everything's safe. It's, it's really just, it's really delicious, and it's tasty, and oh my gosh, it smells so good. Ooh, cheese. Bounce, bounce. Heck, I want to get the cheese. And then I'm gonna check its description. What's this do? 15 HP! If only there were crackers to go with it. Let's see, what's up with these people? Fellow pink hair person? No, this is the lad. Clarified butter. No crust on toast, no shell on shrimp. Yeah, there's a lot of rules. Sounds bothersome. The road to a master chef is long and arduous. Okay, go away. I want to. I want to talk to this. <gasps> oh my gosh! Yes, there we go. Lisa sure can't lift. We were chatting, and a pinky escaped. She just grabbed it and chucked it over the gate. Huh? That sounds useful. Definitely. Is there a frog in one of these crates? I bet there's a frog in one of these crates. No, but there was a moonstone. 
don't think I'm going to try gain all the collectibles for this run. Unless y'all want me to. If y'all want me to go for all the collectibles, I'll go for all the collectibles. But I've never been able to get them before, and I've been trying this game for a good long while. And some of them are just really, really tricky to get. Mayor always has someone guarding him. I lost the drawing, so for today, it's me. Ooh. Doesn't sound fun. Yes, I want you to free Lisa. She's my friend and my family, and she's my sister. You gotta keep loyal to your family. Sure, just pay me five thousand rye. Kick it, kick it. I don't like you. Oh, wait, wasn't... Okay, so here's what I've got to do, because the warrant... Or not warrant. Whatever it was. Was it a warrant? I don't know. The thing that was out for the capture of the uh, bandit. Be a uh, bandit leader. There we go. I was having trouble with words. That's 5,000 rye. That's enough to free Lisa. Food to try, interesting places to visit, know anything about the bandits. I'm not interested in food, but places to visit? History, tons of historical buildings. What else? Oh yeah, Adar's house. You know, that big fella who used to ring us firecrackers when we were kids. Due to his job, he can't live near the city. Let me mark his house on your map. Now that I mention it, I haven't seen him for a while. Yeah, he got abducted with the rest of the town. Gosh. Alright, I learned that location. I think I'm going to check that out. Do you know anything about the bandits, Lisa? Everyone knows about the Desert Dragon Bandits. They're a terrible lot for terrorizing us innocent folk. Who knows what they want. But they're hired by Rodinia. That country always has a bone to pick with us. Recently, the sheriff caught one of them and he's being held in the local jail cell. Sometimes I'll visit the bandit and throw breadcrumbs at him. It's a great stress reliever. Alright. And there's a big pot up there on that column, and I don't know why. There's probably something in that pot that I can't get to. And I probably need some sort of special item. Let's see. There is a way in to see the bandits somewhere around here. Aha. I'm in. Woohoo! There's nothing good to drink here. At this point, I'd drink anything if it meant I wouldn't have to drink the mud they pass for water. Okay, so drink. Don't drink the water in a tie. I've gotten that much from this. What sounds silly? Oh, he saw. He saw Pantslo being abducted. Poor man. I feel bad for him. Okay, so I've got to find something that'll help me out. How do I get him to talk? Maybe you just need something to drink. I've been in here. It's in here. I need to explore this place thoroughly. This is the potion person, isn't it? The potioner. I've done it! I've done it! I've created a special potion that makes you talk too much. I need it. The Talkinator. I am buying it. Yes. Oh. My inventory is full. And I am a silent protagonist in this game, and it just got confirmed. I'm glad about that. I'm gonna eat this. Bye! After I buy it, tell all my friends. I think that'll be hard not to do with the Talkinator juice. Alright, up, up. And then back to the jail cell. It's not a long distance. I probably won't bother even editing this part out, because I'm talking all the way through. And it's not really that hard to get to at all. I mean, just break a grate, go down, go over, S. Give. What's this? Oh uh, well, down it goes. <gasps> you want to know where the bandit's hideout is? Uh, mm -hmm. 
no way. I won't tell you they're hiding out in the abandoned buildings to the south. <laughs> and I especially won't tell you that it's no use without explosives. <laughs> yep, you'll get nothing from me. Okay. So I know where the Bandit Slayer is. I'm probably going to leave that for the next episode. But I think I am going to go to Adar's house. Because if I need explosives, that's probably where I'll find them. Because, you know, Adar the bomb maker. Yeah, because there's Adar's house and there's the Bandit Slayer. Adar's house it is. Boing. My game's being just a little bit laggy, and that's rather concerning. Just a paraline. No. Bad looks comfortable. Will you rest? Yeah. That'll restore my health fully, won't it? I mean, that's normally what beds do in games. Yay! I got back that extra one point that I needed oh so badly. Okay, so I've need to. I've got to get down. Up. I need something to blow up that rock. I've discovered some kind of fault behind my house. It's large and metallic. Something this garden must have lots of treasure inside, and it'll be all mine! Unfortunately, my bombs can't even dent the thing. Luckily, my grandmother has a bomb recipe specifically for opening faults like these, but I don't have the ingredients. I must set out. I guess I'll stop by Pencilo on the way. Adar. Huh, so he's looking for bomb ingredients. And that's why he was stopping in Pencilo. Maybe there's bombs over here? Uh-oh. There have to be, because otherwise I can't get back. <gasps> you found the bombs! Adar probably won't mind if you borrow them for a while. Their destructive force can destroy rocks and other weakened structures. Careful, they can hurt you too. So, I can destroy more than just rocks. Equip bombs from status menu. Okay. Tool key, yeah, I know. Equip. And why not just drop a bomb over here while I'm at it? See if there's anything in these rocks. Nope. Oh. Okay, I can hit. Them. That's nice to know. I had forgotten about that mechanic. Yes! It got all of them at once. Also, I just felt that overload my mic. That was probably not a good sign. On traveling, if you have an important message, print it to my door. Adar the bomb maker. Here's a door. There are a lot of doors around here, though. And actually, now that I've got the explosives... Actually, hang on. I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna check whatever's in his basement. And then, I think I'll just end the episode there. Because... Well, I don't really want to tackle a whole dungeon starting in the middle of an episode, because that would just take way too long. And actually, the next dungeon coming up is pretty big, so it might not even be a good idea to tackle the whole thing in a single episode. But hey, I don't know, I'm recording everything kind of out of order. So I just got big cash payload, that's really nice, and that's the end of the episode, I guess. We've been through a tie, we've found the bandit slayer, we've gotten through everywhere we need to get through. The game's saved, we're, we're good to go. We've got everything we need to get through to the next dungeon. So, yeah, we should be good. We can pick up some more supplies for the next episode. I'll probably do that in my off time so you don't have to watch the boring shopping experience. Anyway,
thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this game as much as I did, and I realize that this is more of a filler episode of it than anything, but we've still gotten stuff done, and I'm happy we've gotten stuff done. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Best regards, Gatlin the Shelf Master. Stay awesome!